Hello everyone, again I have come back with a new video that is of division. Now you must be knowing the division, but here I am going to teach you the trick of division. When your divisor is the bigger number, like two digits bigger number and in three digits, that time we don't know the tables. We know tables max to max up to 25, right? But beyond that we don't know. So which trick we have to apply so today i'm going to teach you that type of division before that just small recap about the properties and other thing which i will tell you so property one any number any number divided by one the quotient is always number itself this is your first properties second properties any number other than 0 is divided by the number itself. For example, 275 is divided by the same number itself. Then the quotient is 1. Right? Now the third property. If 0 is divided by any number. If 0 is divided, 0 means no number. When it is divided by any non-zero number. Why I am using non-zero? Because... 0 has no value. So, non-zero which has the value. Any non-zero number. Your answer is 0 only. And the fourth, any number divided by 0 is not defined. Not possible only. Right? So, these four properties you have to keep it in your mind. Which you have already learned. Now, then sometimes the mental math type sums come. So orally only you should be able to give the answer. Now division by 10, 100, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Right. So suppose your any number. Like it is like this. Oops. Your numbers are this way. So simple. You don't have to do the division. Actual division you are not doing. Simple. Now here 325 is divided by 10. That means in 10, 1, 0 is there. So this number in dividend you will underline once place. So that would be your remainder and before one's place whatever digits are there whatever number is there that would be your quotient simple now here 10594 divided by 100 now for 100 how many zeros are there two so one sentence right so here one sentence so underline these two digits so your quotient will be and your remainder. Your remainder will be what your underlying digits. And before that whichever number is left that would be your quotient. Now here 25,463. So your quotient and your remainder. So 1 stains 100. So here 3 zeros are there. So 1, 2, 3. Those 3 digits would be your remainder. And before that, whatever number is there would be your quotient. Same here. Now, 9,53,216. How many zeros are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. Underline the, that. That would be your remainder. 3, 2, 1, 6. And before that, whatever number is there, that would be your Ocean. So, this is the just recap which you already know. So, properties of division and division by 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. So, this is simple method you can write for filling the blanks. Now, we will solve the sums of division that is divide and find the quotient in the remainder. Now, before that I will tell you. This is called dividend. This number is called dividend. This number is called divisor. And when we 
divide dividend by divisor we are getting quotient is the answer and if any remainder rather than zero any number rather than zero that is a remainder right so now here i say we know tables of 2 max 2 max 25 or maybe 30 but we don't know. so here it is easy to divide so that is why one sum i have taken this and other i have taken the numbers beyond 30 so that you will understand the trick now here first of all you have to see the digits in your divisor here two digits so here also you have to take the two digits now this two digits should be bigger than this this why i am telling because further some when i will teach you i will tell you always this digit should be bigger than this then only we can start with the table now in 18 table 61 comes we will see 18 ones are 18, 18 twos are 36, 18 threes are 54, 18 fours are 72, right? So, 72 is bigger than this, 61. So, we will take the lesser number than this. So, 18 threes are 54. Now, we have to take one one, one number down from the dividend that is 0. Again, we will take 18 threes are 54 because again 72 is bigger than 70. So 18 threes are 54. Do since division is a repeated subtraction, we have to do the subtraction and take another number down. Now 18 table means 162 comes. If you know the table thorough, you can immediately tell 18 nines are 162. So, here my remainder is 0. Always you should write final answer is quotient is. So, this is your quotient and this is your remainder. So, always you should write the final answer quotient is 339 and remainder is 0. Though it is 0 also you have to write it that. Right? Now we will see the second sum. That sum is 525. 525. This divided by 125. Right? So now these are your divisor is 3 digits. As I told you, we don't know the 3 digits table. So 525525. 5, 5, 5, 5. Right? So, this is your dividend, this is your divisor. Still, you have to make rough column so that it is very easy to you solve the sum. Now, we cannot write the 125 table till 10 multiplication and then it will take your time to solve the sum. So, it's better. Now, here see children, you know the 12 table, right? But here 3 digits, first of all, here 3 digits, here also take 3 digits. These three digits are bigger than this. So, now in 125 table, when does 525 comes? We will see. But before that, we don't know the 125 table. So, I know 12 table. So, here two digits I have taken. Here also I will see for two digits. So, here 52. So, 12 ones are 1, 2, 1, 12, 12 twos are 24, 12 threes are 48, 12 fours are 12 threes are 36, 12 fours are 48, 12 fives are 60, which is bigger than 52. So, we will take 12 fours are 48. So, now we will see 125 directly multiplied by 4. Let's see. So, it is, I know 125 fours are 500 but for you I have done the multiplication and shown you so that it will go easy for you. So it will be 500 less than this if we do 125 by 5 then it is coming bigger. So it would be 625 which is bigger than 525. So now your this subtraction take again one number down. Again 12 twos are 24. So 125 twos are. It would be 250. Sometimes you have to use your skill also children. 
Okay. Now 52 is less than 125. That means it doesn't come only. So put 0 for that first. Then only you can take the another new number down. Is that clear? So now 525 again. So it will go by 4. 125. 4 za. 500. So it would be now 25. And there is no number in the dividend. So finally this is your portion. And this is your remainder. So this way you have to do the division for the bigger number in the divisor. See here I have done only one multiplication. I have not done the multiplication from 1 to 10 for 125 and then I did the sum. It consumes your time. Right? Then final answer quotient is 4204. Remainder is 25. Right? Now we will see the another number so that the picture will be clear for you how to do the division for the bigger number when your divisor is a bigger number. Now sum number 3. Now I will take divisor 4 digit. So 8311 391 this divided by 1392. Here I am making the rough column. But I am not going to write the this tables till 10. That will consume my time. But I will show you the trick. Now first step always you should see the digits in the divisor. That is here 4 digits. Here also you have to take the 4 digits. And this number should be equal to or bigger than this. So this number is bigger than this. Start solving the sum. Now see. I know 13 table because I don't know 1392 table. So 13 table here I will take 2 digits. Here also I will see for the 2 digits here 83. Now in 13 table, right? So 13 table, 13 5 is 65, 13 6 is 13 6 is. So I will see 6 is 78 but here I will see 1392 multiplied by 5, 5 2 is 10. 9 5 is a 45 and 6 4. 5 3 is a 15 and 19. 5 1 6 9. 6 0. Right? And if I see 1 3 9 2. Though 13 6 is a 78. But it is. Here it will be bigger number will come. So we will check 4 6. 6 2 is a 12. 54 and 55. So, 8352 which is bigger than this. That is why I have taken 1392 multiplied by 5. So, it will go by 5 and 6960. Right? So, now your subtraction is 1351. Take new number down. Now, again same. 13 ones are 13. But here we are not doing. Here we are taking 3 digits. Because here 5 digits are there. Here 4 digits, we have taken 2 digits. But now here 5 digits. So we will see by 3 digits in 13 table. So 13 1 the 13, 13 2 the 26, 13 3 the 39, 13 4 the 52, 13 5 the 65, 13 6 the 78, 13 7 the 91, 13 8 the 104, 13 9 the 117. So it will go by 9. We will see that it will go by 9. We will see directly this multiplication by 9. So we don't have to multiply by 2, multiply by 3 and so on. So 9 2s are 18, 9 9s are 81 and 1, 82. 9 3s are 27 and 8, 35. 9 1s are 9 and 3, 12. So it is 1 2 5 2 8. So 1 2 5 2 8 because 1, 3, 9, 2 multiplied by 10. This is bigger than this. So, it will go by 9 only. 13 minus 8, 5. 11 minus 3, 8. 15 minus 6, 9. And here, 0. Here, 0. So, it would be 985. Take again one number down. Now, it is 9859. So, here again 4 digits. So, Third, here we have to take two digits and say 13 7s are 91. So we will see by multiplication 
by 7. 7 to the 14. 9 7 the 63 and 1 64. 21 and 6 27. 7 1 the 7 and 2. So your um, this is coming 9. So it will go by 7. 9 7 4 4. Now last number we are taking down that is 1 1. Then your number becomes 1 1 5 1. Now children this number is less than this. We will stop here. And now here we have taken the new number down. And it is not going. So what we have to put 0. And now there is no further number in the dividend. So what we will do. This is your final answer. Your quotient. And this is your remainder. Quotient is 5970. And remainder is 1151. Clear children. So this is the skill I taught you. By this two digits number, how you can divide the bigger number when your divisor is the bigger number. Now, one sum different I have taken. Divide and check your answer. Divide means here divide and check your answer. In this, what you have to do? First of all, you are doing the division as usual. How we are doing? 800 and this. Your this 732, 856. So this is your division, dividend and this is your divisor. Now your divisor 3 digits. Then here also take 3 digits. Children I have taken this sum purposely. I was telling you this number should be equal to divisor. Or it should be bigger than divisor. Then it is very easy to divide. But. When these three digits are less than divisor three digits, in that case, first we have to multiply this number by 0. And here, subtract 0. This step is compulsory children. It's a, it's a, this is compulsory. Directly, you cannot take the two digits. Right? So, three digits, three digits. If it is less than this, put 0 and subtract 0 from the given number three digits. And then only you can take the new digit from the dividend. Now it has become four digit number, right? So I know eight table. So here if I am taking one digit. So here because I don't know 83 table. So I know only eight table. Here one digit then here two digits and see. Eight nines are 72. But three nines are 20. So it will not go by nine which is bigger. So, I will see previous number 8. So, 832 by 8 directly I will multiply it and get my answer here. 8 to the 16, 8 3 is a 24 and 1, 25, 8 to the 64 and 2, 66. Right? So, it will go by, if you want to check by 9, then see. 72 which is bigger than this. So that is why I have taken 8. So it will be 6656. Do the subtraction how we are doing. Right. Take new number down. Again now in 8 table when 67 comes. Right. So again 9 9, 6, 6, 5, 6. Again, it will go by 8. 6, 6, 5, 6. 15 minus 6, 9. And 12 minus 6, 6. Again, one new number down. Right. So, now 696. When after taking new number down, this three digits number, again it is less than 0. At less than 832. So, put 0 here, put 0 here and this way, now this is your quotient, this is your remainder. Now, children, always you have to read the question, what you make mistake, right? You are just doing the division and it is asked, check your answer. Now, check your answer means we have to check that whether our dividend, we are getting the same. So, for that, the formula is dividend is equal to quotient or dividend into divisor 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कोशन प्लस रिमेंडर दिस इज योर फॉर्म्यूला राइट सो फॉर चेकिंग ऑलवेज यू हैव टू राइट दिस फॉर्म्यूला नाउ व्हाट इज डिवाइजर 832 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कोशन इज 880 प्लस योर रिमेंडर इज 696 व्हेन यू डिवाइड मल्टीप्लाई दिस योर मल्टीप्लिकेशन आंसर इज कमिंग हियर आई एम नॉट वेस्टिंग माय टाइम so multiplication answer is coming 732160 plus 696 when i add this see i am adding this i am getting 6151823 so 732856 which is my dividends that means so if i am getting back my division up using this formula that means my division sum is right i have not made any mistake in this that is why it is asked to check so we have to do the checking by using this formula clear children so with this we have completed the division sums and i taught you the trick which you are applying if you don't understand by watching the video one time please it's a request you watch it and with that you sit with your notebook and pen so that you can do the practice then you see again video so that your confident level will be increased thank you children